everybody, it's Nikki, and I'm here to do a video that is my personal experience, not to be as medical advice. Um, it's been a couple weeks, so I'm rusty. Um, it's been like three weeks, so I'm rusty. Um, but this was a good time to do a video because I ran into my first invalid transmitter ID the other day on my T-Slim G6 combo. Um, and because my friend Anita had just asked for my help with a with the same problem about a week before and I was unable to help her and then ran into it on my own um, and then found out that there was a very easy solution I realized maybe it was a time maybe it was a good time to you know put it in a video um, so basically long story short which I don't think I'm capable of um, I got a new transmitter I went to I paired it from my phone I started the new sensor put in my code did all of that from my phone never did anything with my pump. And after my two hour warm up, I had, a, I had a reading on my phone, but nothing on my pump. And as long as there was nothing on my pump, it meant that there was no basal IQ. Um, so Anita said that the same thing had happened with her daughter. I'm not sure it was the exact same conditions, but it was the same result. And after nine days, they were never, never able to get basal IQ. Um, so in this case, as soon as I saw I was running into the problem, I was prepared to call Dexcom. And that phone call did confirm that as long as I'm seeing a sensor problem on my pump screen, it's not Dexcom I want to call. I want to call Tandem. Um, so they put me through. I, I spoke with Tandem. And I explained to them that the problem was I had a reading on my phone, but nothing on my uh, pump screen. And not only did I have nothing on my pump screen, but when I had gone into my pump, because at some point I realized that maybe I just needed to start the session from my pump, it's kind of like you know turning it off and on and blowing into it. <laughs> um, at some point, I thought that maybe I just needed to start the session for my pump, so I tried doing that, and I actually think I made it a little bit more complicated for myself when I did that, um, because then when I got my message that said invalid transmitter ID, which made sense because I hadn't put in a transmitter ID into the pump, and when I went in to go check it, um, because I had started the session my transmitter ID was grayed out and it was not an option to, to touch it and to edit it. Um, so I panicked and I basically freaked out because it sounded like Anita's problem and I couldn't figure out why I couldn't edit it and, and it kept giving me this message invalid transmitter ID. Um, so I called Dexcom and they have a few things they kind of run through with you um, including a receiver and where your receiver is because I think that is a common problem is that the actual receiver is kind of jumping in and stealing the show, that's not technical speak, but um, in this case, my, my receiver was not a player. It's been in the box, packed away in a cabinet for months. Um, so then they asked me if I could confirm that my transmitter ID was correct. And I said, I can go in and confirm that my transmitter ID is incorrect, but I can't edit it. Um, so this is what he said, this is a very easy solution. He said, you're going to stop your sensor um, and again, this was after I confirmed that it was not the correct transmitter ID. And the reason that's important is because what he told me on that phone call, he said, yeah, you can go ahead and stop your sensor anytime. It won't make any difference. And you can always go in and edit your transmitter ID and, jo and jump back in. Um, and I think that was slightly misleading information. I think as long as it's the incorrect transmitter ID, you can pop out, stop sensor, you know, do whatever you want to do and get back in again. Um, but if it were the correct trans, if I had gone in and confirmed that it was the correct one and then I hit stop sensor, it would stop the entire session. Um, and that was my concern. Did he want me to stop the entire session? So what he said is hit stop sensor after I had confirmed that the transmitter ID was incorrect. Um, and when I did that, I'm not going to do it right now. I hit stop sensor. It asked if I wanted to end the session. I said yes. And then I came back to CGM settings. And at that point, the transmitter ID was no longer grayed out and I could put, I could touch it and I could edit it. Um, so I edited it, went back, hit start sensor and got my basal IQ back. Um, and that was it, it was actually very easy. So I will know going forward that if ever I have a reading on my phone and nothing on my pump, um, and especially if I'm getting a, a transmitter, invalid transmitter ID issue, that it's always very easy to go through your CGM settings um, and confirm whether or not there's really a problem and not on the phone. That's a different, that's a different device. Um, go onto the pump and confirm whether or not it's looking at the same transmitter ID. 
And if it's not, I can go ahead without consequence, stopping the session, um, and then editing that transmitter ID and starting it again. And if it's the correct transmitter ID, then I can call a tandem <laughs> and find out what to do, because that was not a problem this time. Anyway, um, I am three days away from putting a nice, not a nice video, because that would be a lie, but a nice uh, presentation, I think, together of Basil IQ and somewhat of the 670G manual mode, um, because I was asked for a comparison. And I've actually worked quite hard on it. Um, and I'm almost done with the document and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a video. Um, and I was really hoping to do one more, even though I know what happens um, with the manual mode, I was really hoping to do one more round of a couple days where I could look at the average suspend times and then my 670G, my Guardian transmitter died again. This is the updated transmitter. So it's the second death of it and I have a feeling I'm not gonna get a new one from them. <laughs> so that may, that may have been the end of my Guardian days. Um, but I'll put together the video and it'll have some basal IQ information. Um, and then I will get back to not getting anything done over the rest of the summer. So anyway, thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.